Right, ladies and gents, welcome today. We're going to be talking about an effect. Well, one, there's two ways of doing this. It's going to be face tracking, as you've seen in the title. Um, it's going to be quite an interesting one because there's two ways of doing it. I found two ways. There's one that's uh, on Snap Camera, which uh, I'll link the video uh, that I've done before about Snap Camera and using it with Lure on board. Uh, that'll be in the description, and we'll put a little uh, card up there. So if you want to go and check that out, please do. Um, we'll also uh, be showing a new OBS plugin for face tracking. Again, you can trigger this and then work around the different ways of um, triggering this effect and working in the, the settings. I will admit I've not fully gone through all the settings, but it's a good effect. But we'll get into that. So first off, we're going to go and talk through um, Snap Camera. Uh, Snap Camera is... <laughs> I love it. It can be a little bit CPU intensive. So if you haven't got the most powerful computer, then you got to weigh up the options of what you, whether you want to use it or not. But you can create brilliant effects. I have some linked on my. Um, we'll go to where is it? Onto <laughs> on my uh, stream deck um, using the on board. But anyway, there's there's a different video about that altogether, which will come in the future. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll come back to that at some point. Right, anyway, less waffling, more talking. Um, so what we're going to do is, to do this one, what we're going to do is do, we're going to type in face tracking, and it's going to come up with a few options. I've gone through a few of these. I found this one's not a bad one, um, if it does it. It's not going to do it for some reason. Why is it not doing it? Who knows? But this one I found is the best one. You can trigger this, and then it could be quite a handy one. So if you've done a a good moment in your uh, in your game, you could trigger it in, or highlight a, a point in your in your stream, and it just tracks your tracks your face wherever you go. So this is quite a, quite a good one for a not many settings in it. I don't believe, I, um, but it's quite a good one. So. To, to set this one off, there's a few ways you you can do it. I you got a favourite that the, the um, thing, so you put a little star there, and then we go to our favourites there. We've done it in this previous before, uh, in my previous video, but we then set up a hotkey. I've already set up a hotkey, so you put it whichever you want. I've gone Control Alt F, trying to keep it face for face tracking, um, and then we'll we'll skip back, we'll skip back. We'll uh, we'll go into OBS and we'll just add it in, add the source in because I have a. Uh, let me let me. T no. Uh, da, 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 where are we? I can never find it when I need it. Uh, video capture. Why could I not see it? So existing <laughs> existing one. We go to snap camera. Again, this is just the source that I've got. So we've got it in there. Control Alt and F, and there we have it. Face tracking. So that is one way, quick way. Set it. You can set up obviously the hotkey in the on board, um, or say touch portal, or I don't believe it's hotkeys are available in Streamer Bot yet, but I've not quite looked into that. But there's there's a few ways. Maybe mix it up as well. Mix it up, but again, I've not used it too much. But why not? See, we've got it on both both cameras, I've just realised. But yeah, play around with it. Do do what you want. Um, obviously, you can add it into different effects. But then, you obviously, if you're using things like Touch Bottle, uh, Lior on board, mix it up, you can add it into to, uh, channel points or commands or even onto your uh, stream deck with, with certain plugins as well. So for, uh, like, Lior on board, there's a the onboard plugin that works with the stream deck as well so that's that's the first way so the next way is with a face tracker plugin um it is made where are we there we go um can't say his name i do apologize but it's a it's a great plugin i've, I've used it it's, it's it's a little bit more customizable compared to the um um the the snap camera one but we're going to to download it you download go to the downloads scroll all the way down choose your installer um i use windows installer 
to download that, follow all the steps. Um, obviously, if you've got OBS open, make sure it's closed. Uh, if not, you might have to restart your, your PC, so on and so forth. Um, we then, once it's all installed, we click over to, there we go. Oh, let's, uh, let's take me zoom off for a second. <laughs> Still getting used to this, by the way. Um, right, so then what we're going to do, because we've already added in the, the, um, the, the camera, because we're going to use the same camera on this one. Um, we are going to uh, right-click on the camera. We're going to click filters. So we're going to zoom in on there. There we go. So zoom on our filters. And then we're going to add a new filter. Ignore some of these. I've just been testing with a few different different filters and and different bits that i use um so we're going to add a new filter in and if you've installed it correctly you should have face tracker right there so we're going to click on that we're just going to leave it as as is and then you're going to be presented with loads of different loads and loads and loads of different um settings what we're going to do because it's already working now as we can see well, there we go. We're just going to move the camera up a little bit. There we go. So it is already working. But what we can do is you can increase the zoom all the way. That's a bit too close. Far, far too close. Nobody needs to see that that close. Nobody needs it that close. And we can zoom it all the way back. Um, there is a max scale, which we can do. Uh, again, I've not fully worked in some of these. I guess these are the tracking boxes, so you can can mess around with the tracking boxes. We're just going to zoom out a second on that. But then we've also got a few little uh, text boxes so we can show the tracking. So these are the ones that we can adjust, I believe, with these these features. Again, I'm not playing around with it too much. Uh, we can select the aspect ratio. So 16 by 9, 4 by 3, 1 by 1. So you can change the aspect ratio of your camera box and where it captures uh but we'll go with the same as a source because that's what we're going to need it um and so we show the tracking of the faces the, the, there's there's quite a bit you can do with it um and again it's going to be the similar sort of process as the snap camera one uh but you can obviously trigger it inside obs again you can trigger it with the onboard touch portal um yeah this one you probably uh, yeah you can trigger it with streamer bot as well because um, it's triggering a filter again i'm still not i'm getting there with with streamer but I, I need to need to do some more work on it and understand but um if you do want any more videos on stream bot i would definitely suggest checking andy lippy out um he's done so many videos on it recently but again just play around with the filters uh get the effect you want you can maybe add some uh user fine shaders in there anything to just mix it up and Add, add some extra stuff into it it's pretty simple uh, again i always say just play around with these things if you've got time it and it can be quite a handy one to 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 so example we'll, we'll put it there we'll turn it off and then we get the oh what a moment <gasps> and it tracks you all the way so <laughs> if you get the idea that that's uh that's uh that's what it's going to entail uh but yes please make sure we do like uh like follow and subscribe the channel uh we're going to be doing more videos we're going to try and grow this channel as much as we can um also i do stream over on twitch.tv forward slash bongo 1986 and we do stream here on youtube as well so we're, we're mixing up the content recently um but thank you all for for watching the video uh if you've got any any ideas about how we could use the this plugin or the the one with snap camera drop them in the comments uh and we'll catch you in the next one peace out